Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Now let's jump in and see what these cards have to say today. Hey Pisces, it's Dana. What's going on, you guys? How's it? How's the water feeling out there, Pisces? How's the water feeling? Nice and smooth? Not too choppy? Well, I don't know about all that. We got a full moon in Pisces tonight. Second full moon of the month. There was a full moon at the beginning of August, and now there is a full blue moon at the end of August in Pisces. Not only that, but we have like six planets in retrograde all the way around. And it's just kind of crazy out there these days, Pisces. Just kind of crazy. Let's just see what these cards have to say for you. Maybe this message will help someone. Maybe it won't. But we're fixing to find out, all right? So give me a second to channel and we will uh, see what they have to say, okay? Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. I have the Collective of Pisces with me. In spirit, Pisces wants to know what you know. What does this particular Pisces need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their futures? Spirit, what's coming towards the Pisces? What do they need to look out for? The Tower, what do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their lives for their very best and highest good spirit, for their soul path? Please give me the eyes to see it, the ears to hear it, and the words to explain it. Please tell me where the stopping point is for Pisces. We'll cut three times and I'll pull straight from the top. Spirit, what is it that Pisces needs to know and understand? All right, that feels real good right there. All right, let's do it. Let's cut them three times, see what they say. Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Bottom of the deck, the Seven of Pentacles, reflection, assessment, reevaluating something, death, look at that, a transformation, the Six of Cups in reverse, uh, unrealistic expectations maybe, temperance in reverse, an imbalance, the Four of Wands in reverse, the King of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles, and the King of Wands in reverse, interesting. Okay, we're going to set all that over there. That's going to make a hell of sense to us in just a minute, okay? All right, so I have to do this the way that it I can function. So I'm going to change that camera right there, okay? All right, first card out, Princess of Swords in reverse to the Two of Pentacles in reverse. So, okay, and imbalance, Prince of Cups in reverse, Strength in reverse. Holy cow, in the tower. What is happening here, Pisces? Two of cups in reverse. The seven of cups. Okay. All right. Let's make some sense out of this for you guys, okay? I will move these cards up so you can see them when I get down to them. But because the camera area is so confined, we're going to just work on this top row right here for a second, all right? Let's see what this all says. Couple of things you need to know about me. Little sensitive sweet Pisces before we get started here is that I'm a Taurus sun. Pisces moon, Pisces rising, and Pisces Venus. Um, some people say I have the propensity to be inappropriate. So if, uh, if any kind of swearing or uh, anything like that um, bothers you, now is your time to swim away and swim away real quick before you get caught in sharky waters, Pisces. I also may or may not smoke my vape on camera. If you don't like that, now is the time to go. Otherwise, we're going to get along real good. Let's throw these cards, okay? The Princess of Swords in reverse. First card out sets the tone for absolutely everything. Tell me, please. <laughs> okay. Judgment in reverse, right? All talk, no action, undelivered promises, and the high priestess in reverse to the page of cups. Got it. Two of pentacles in reverse. Imbalanced. Uh, financial setback sometime. Financial imbalance. Financial. All right, Pisces, this is what's going on, okay? All right, all right, all right. Are you buckled up? Are you buckled up? Let's do this. Are you buckled up? So. 
Princess of Swords in reverse, all talk, no action, undelivered promises. Okay? To judgment in reverse, self doubt, bad decision. The High Priestess in reverse, out of touch with yourself, absolutely ignoring your intuition. To the Page of Cups, because there is an offer of some sort on the table. What is the root of this over here, I asked. It is the Five of Pentacles, uh, a lack mentality. To the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, upset in the home, the family, the finances. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Um, if you keep doing what you've always done, you're going to continue to get what you've always gotten. And Temperance, temper yourself, Pisces. Temper yourself in this situation. Okay, what's happening here? Well, we're going to come back to these cards in just a second because this is your spiritual advice right here, okay? Um, again, no all talk, no action, undelivered promises, bad decisions made out of self-doubt, completely ignoring yourself because there's some kind of offer on the table. What's happening? Well, the Two of Pentacles in reverse. This card is about like a financial imbalance, okay? An imbalance in your sense of well-being because it's earth energy, okay? So an imbalance in your sense of well-being. The Prince of Cups in reverse comes on top of this and talks about, again, some, some, some self-doubt, right? Because when the Prince of Cups is in the upright, he is confident and ready to move forward in his emotions. And in the reverse, it's someone that is really not, not uh, tapped into what's going on. Hence, the High Priestess in reverse. Okay, so High Priestess in reverse, Prince of Cups in reverse, doubting yourself. Um, it's also a card about like unrealistic expectations in your emotions. Okay, um, to the Eight of Wands in reverse. This is this is the hold up. This is what's going to hold you up in the forward progression of your life. I also want to say that the Eight of Wands in reverse is about. Um, resistance. It's about not moving forward. Why? Different different aspect, right? Five of Pentacles in reverse because you're going to lose in this situation. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Um, you are, again, reiterating you're going to lose. It's upset in the home, the family, and the finances. To the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, if, if you keep doing what you've always done, you're going to keep getting what you've always gotten. It's time to reevaluate the way that you're going about doing things. And Temperance again says, temper yourself. See, it's the same message, but just spoken in two different ways. I'm going to come back and explain. Okay, so bad decisions, offers on the table. There is a bad decision here. This bad decision is rooted somehow in your own personal self-doubt, okay? Strength in reverse. Strength in reverse talks about a weakness. A weakness in what? Maybe a weakness in our characters, right? In your character, our character. Strength in the upright is about power and courage to fight through, to be victorious. And strength internal, right? And strength in reverse is about, again, being weak. Some kind of self-doubt is your weakness, the magician says, be very, very, very careful what it is that you are manifesting in your life because where your thoughts go, your reality becomes, whether you like it or not. Straight up. Be careful where you put your thoughts because you can manifest one of two things. You can either manifest this shit show into your life because of self-doubt, because of some kind of lack mentality. Maybe I can't do better. Um, some kind of self-doubt, particularly in your sense of security and well-being, um, is has the potential to be a very bad decision in your life. Okay? Um, it all leads to a tower, an absolute implosion of everything. The magician says, be careful what it is that you think about because it is becoming your reality. So you need to pay attention, temper yourself. You need to pay attention to this decision that you are about to make that is not in your best and highest good. And you can either manifest a shit show, the fool, or you can manifest a new beginning, a new journey, and a different way. Those are your two options. You only have two choices. You're either going to manifest a shit show or you're going to bounce out of this situation and begin to think and create in your mind a different life for yourself. Tower in reverse says avert disaster. 
to the seven of swords in reverse and break free from some kind of potential fuckery. All talk, no action, undelivered promises was the very first card out, right? You making some kind of bad decision out of, out of a lack mentality or insecurity of some sort is a bad decision, judgment in reverse. It's both, it's about doubt and bad decisions. Deciding to not decide is a bad decision. High priestess in reverse, not in touch with yourself. There's the offer, right? Um, lack mentality, things not right. Keep doing what you've always done and temperance, okay? Maybe some of you are in a habitual cycle in your life when and when whenever you feel financially insecure, you find someone to hook up with. Whether they're good for you or not, as long as they can share the bills with you, um, that's kind of your thing. Some of you have a lack mentality that is propelling you to make a decision about your finances to join up or accept an offer somehow, some way. Perhaps it is uh, co-working with someone, co-parenting with someone, co-housing with someone. Um, but there is an offer on the table that is filled with all talk, no action, undelivered promises. And if you continue the same kind of cycle that you're in, you're only going to get what you've always gotten, which is some kind of fuckery because of the Seven of Swords in reverse. All these major arcana are telling you, be careful what you manifest. Because there's a character flaw happening somewhere along the line here that needs to be addressed so you can step into where it is that you need to be. Uh huh. I asked where this fool right here is taking you, and it's to the Nine of Cups. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction. There is a better way, there's a different way. Whatever huge decision that you are about to make in regards to possibly joining forces with others, it's a bad decision. And the fool says that if you will recognize it, there is a better way and something much better for you down the road. Okay? This was all clarified by the tower and the Two of Cups in reverse. Some kind of union that you are looking to join into um, does not have the foundation for you to build what it is that you're trying to build in your life, particularly if you are trying to make your financial situation better or your sense of security better. Whatever offer this Page of Cups right here is, is not in your best interest. Two, guess what? The Two of Cups in reverse. Again, right? It is a, it's an in, in, it's an inviolable relationship to the seven of cups in reverse, talking about options, choices, decisions. Um, it, a lot of the seven of cups in reverse is about illusion. Um, and I think you are delusional <laughs> about this whole situation. Because these cards are screaming at you to come to your senses. I mean, the high priestess in reverse, that's you, Pisces. And when you're in reverse, it's like totally going against the very fibers that you are. Judgment in the upright in the center of the reading says, make a concrete, cognitive, clear, logical decision for your entire everything, please. The lovers in reverse... It's an un unviable relationship. Mm -hmm. Ten of Swords. Um, not only will it come to an end, but it will become painful at some point. Perhaps it has ended once before in the past and you're considering re-engaging with it. But this can also be something brand freaking new, some kind of opportunity. Ten of Swords says bring an end to this cycle of your mind. Make a conscious cognitive decision to see this pattern of some sort that's in your life and, and let go of it. To the two of swords in reverse. What you're trying to get into, you don't have the truth yet. You don't have enough information to be able to make this kind of decision about this all talk, no action, undelivered promises person here. The four of cups in reverse. Four of Cups in Reverse talks about emotionally apathetic, stubborn also. To the Ten of Wands in Reverse. Ten of Wands in Reverse is about, it can be about an overwhelming burden, 
but it's also about avoiding responsibility. And perhaps this lack mentality that someone has up here, um, maybe they're trying to take a shortcut. Maybe they think that this will be of some sort of financial gain to them, but it won't be. It won't be at all. And the star in reverse. Unpurposeful. Not part of your path. Not part of your purpose. The Hierophant in reverse. Cut loose of ties, commitments, obligations with this situation. Reevaluate and take inventory of a belief system that you have here. High Priestess in reverse because it's going against who you are, what you are. You're ignoring your intuition. Again, not part of your path or part of your purpose. Right? Three of Wands. Have some foresight. Have some foresight for what's coming down the road. See this for what it truly is. Queen of Swords in reverse. Uh, this is someone that is, again, not making a good decision. She's also someone who is um, misusing their power. Someone who's angry. I kind of think it's more about irresponsible. So the Hierophant in reverse, right? Cut loose of a belief system of ties, commitments, obligations. Don't sign a contract. Don't engage. Reevaluate why you think this would be the best thing for you. And Queen of Swords to the Five of Wands because it's going to be nothing but conflict. The Two of Wands. Pay attention. The future. Go towards the future. The Fool and the Nine of Cups. Go in a different direction. To the Hangman. Pisces again. Pause, surrender, cut yourself loose from this tree with a new perspective. Ace of Cups to the Three of Swords in reverse. Come to terms with an understanding within yourself that whatever grief or sorrow or pain that you may experience from rejecting this offer is in your best and highest good in the end. The Three of Cups teaming up Getting together, Princess of Pentacles in reverse. You can't manifest here. It's not going to work. The Ace of Swords, see it for the truth that it is and justice. And be accountable for your path, your purpose, and your journey. Be accountable for your path, your purpose, and your journey. Because what's in your best interest is to not do this. Pisces, Queen of Cups, you right? This tells me you have some kind of feels because the, the offer is uh, the page of cups, right? This tell me, tells me that you have some kind of feels, some kind of connection to this situation already. And the wheel of fortune in reverse is it's a blockage. We cannot divinely orchestrate steps of your path. If you continuously manifest something that is not in your best and highest good, we cannot participate. The Four of Pentacles, pull it together. Your stability the Six of Wands in reverse is not going to be successful here. The Star in reverse, again, it's not purposeful for your path, for your life. The Three of Pentacles, it sounds good. Teamwork and collaboration. King of Swords, just like this Queen of Swords over here, though. But there's going to be static. Static, static, static. Four of Swords, contemplate, reevaluate, just like that Three of Swords, and come to terms what it means to walk away from this opportunity. Ten of Cups in reverse, because you're going to be unhappy. Two of Swords, you're at a real serious crossroads, you are. You only have two choices, just like the Two of Wands, just like at the top up here. You either continue to manifest this into your life and make a bad decision, or you don't, and you go in another direction. Another direction that the universe with the fool and the magician and the nine of cups says is better for you. Which you know in your guts. Anyway, Pisces, you know this. The high priestess in reverse twice. You know that this has its drawbacks. Do not ignore those drawbacks. The chariot. Put in the self-control, the willpower, and the determination to do what it is that you need to do to roll on by this opportunity. To the aid of swords. All tied up in your head. You can't see the forest through the trees about everything. Devil in reverse. Release your limiting beliefs. What are your limiting beliefs? That you need this to be in your life. Whether it's financial insecurity, emotional insecurity, uh, whatever your insecurity is, this is not the answer. 
Okay, devil in reverse. Detach yourself from a toxic strain. What's the toxic strain? An attachment that is a restriction to your growth with the devil in the upright. What is that? It's making this bad decision, possibly in some kind of behavior pattern in your life, because for some reason you feel insecure. The alchemist. Manifest what you want. Ace of Wands. Manifest a new opportunity. Go in the direction. The magician is here twice. The star in reverse is twice. Judgment in reverse is, I do believe, twice, but definitely once in the upright and once in the reverse. The fool, I mean, it's like crazy. It's crazy. Go in a different direction. They just can't scream this loud enough to you, Pisces. Go in a different direction. Point your mind to a new beginning and a new journey and go in a different direction because what you really want is over there. Ace of Wands, new opportunity. King of Wands in reverse on the bottom of the deck. Lack of success. You will not be able to be successful in this situation. Ten of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. You are much, 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 much better off on your own. Much better off on your own. Four of Wands in reverse. Again, more instability in your sense of being. Temperance in reverse. Feeling all upside down about it. To the Six of Cups in reverse and thinking about going back to the past, either to a person from your past or a comfortable behavior pattern that has worked for you somewhat in the past. But going back to something that you've already done or you know how to do is a bad idea. Death. Bring an end to this whole everything. If it's a behavior pattern for you, latching on to someone when you're feeling insecure, either financially or emotionally, it needs to stop because it's not in your best and highest good. It's not part of your path and it's not part of your purpose. If this is some kind of deal or business offering or some kind of collaboration, teamwork, collaboration to make some kind of financial gain, it's not in your best interest. It's all talk, no action, undelivered promises. Bring it to an ultimate final ending so you can transform what it is that you're manifesting in your life and step into the new phase of your life to the Seven of Pentacles. It's time to take a step back, reevaluate, and look at why you are doing what you're doing. What are your deep, deep motivations for ignoring yourself, your intuition, what you know to be the truth? Why are you ignoring that? What are your motivations to ignore that? Dig it up and plant new seeds so you can move on to the Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles right here. Success, your success, your own success. Ten of Pentacles, you're going to be just fine somehow, some way. Right on. All right, Pisces. Well, the full moon, right? So the full moon. So how does this apply to the full moon? Well, we are in Mercury retrograde and things do come back from the past when we are in Mercury retrograde. Venus is retrograde. All kinds of other things are retrograde. I'm not an astrologer, but I do follow it, right? So this is a repeat cycle of either a behavior pattern or a relationship of some sort that the universe desperately wants to bring to your attention. Because if you can harness this and get a hold of this, you can step into a much more successful life than you've been leading thus far. Even if you've been leading a successful life thus far, you could be more successful if you will handle this particular insecurity issue in your life, Pisces. Okay? Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Happy Blue Moon. Namaste.